All right, it's Python on hardware time. This week, Lady Ada, you're going to talk about big change that happened with the Raspberry Pi 5 bookworm. Yes. Um, this is kind of important for people to know. It's not as bad as we thought because there's something that happened. What happened? What happened is, um, you know, it's like the what joke. What did this worm do? This worm. It's always like the joke of like, no matter how many Python installs you have, like there's, you need like one more. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we finally got over like the default Debian Python being two, seven for like decades and they finally moved to three. And I think part of when they, when they updated from two to three on the system Python, um, there was a side effect that people could install packages into like, you know, the root system install of Python and it could mess stuff up especially if the operating system is depending on that, you know, certain packaging versions to match what the distribution things are there. Um, and so basically as a bookworm, you can no longer pseudo pip install. <laughs> um, they took that away. So you can't uh, pip install or pseudo pip install into like the distribution Python um, library and site packages folder. Instead, you must use a Python environment. It's not a huge deal. Like most people will be able to just set up a Python environment in like the home slash pi folder um that's like the default user and then all the packages will be installed in their home directory not in you know the the root file system um but you know there are thousands of tutorials and like a decade worth of raspberry pi uh, python projects that people and, are and printed books and books <laughs> that i mean once you set up the environment it's not a big deal but you know people need to know that they have to do that so it's going to be you know the reason I, I bring this up is i'm you know, we're, we're going to write documentation on the Adafruit site and we're going to try to update as many guys as we can. But, you know, what everyone in the community can do is help beginners because a lot of people are going to bump into, yeah. they're going to try running um, any existing project and they'll do a pip install and they're going to hit, get hit with this error message. The error message does tell you what to do, but I think it's it's going to be um, a bit of like a learning Is there a curve. good reason for this? Yeah, I mean, it's... it's, it's <laughs> It's one of those, like, it's a good idea, but, like, boy, it would have been awesome. <laughs> was there was a good reason for this? Ten years ago. Well, I, I think that, you know, it, it is an issue when the operating system uses a tool, Python, that has packages and versions, and people are using it, and they can they can, they can mess up their operating system by installing or uninstalling packages that the operating system itself is, is depending on. So its operating system is using Python. Python. Yeah. You don't want people mucking around with like oh let me just pip yeah. install any anything or you uninstall or you like you know it's, it's it's really easy to mess things up and so they're like look you know we're not gonna let people we're basically not gonna let people do that anymore i mean you can force it but like i wouldn't i really wouldn't. is this related to any security things across all linux that they're trying to like lock down on it? I don't think it's a security thing i think it's a like please don't destroy your operating system by don't use your tools to destroy your tools and now you have no tools Okay. That sort of situation. All right. So that's your, we can refer to this if people ask. And there's also, you know, blog posts on, on uh, Raspberry Pi. I mean, the, the fact of the matter is like, you know, like Arduino, for example, like the IDE uses Python inside. They just install their own version of Python. And they oh, kind of, you know. Here's a question. Since we've been doing some stuff with ChatGPT, can ChatGPT help rework any of the updates? Like wherever yeah, there is. So that, yeah, that's not the issue. It's it's the, the, amount, the text to paste is the same, which is like before you start, make sure you have an environment. You, you know, like there's going to be this boilerplate. The problem is we have like thousands of guides. And so there is no easy. It's it's not the writing of the text. It's yeah. the actual going in and, and you have to put it into the editor. Um, and, and like I said, it's not just us. It's like yeah. there's there's a I decade's wonder... worth. I wonder if we do these updates, we'll we'll pull out that little piece and have that have that as like we we have you know, components inside of a guide. So in case this changes yeah. ever again, yeah, we we did talk about that. We didn't. It's a little yeah, like we had discussed like oh we could have like some components, but I was like yeah. you know this is I, I have a little bit of a policy of like I try to keep projects from becoming Turing complete, reading email or becoming web browsers in and of themselves. Yeah. And so this was getting closer to oh no, this is now computationally complete uh editor for tutorials yeah. so instead we have pages that are mirrored um mm -hmm. and so you know we, we might be able to do some with that it it's um it's not the actual code it's just the instructions it's just the instructions the code itself is the same okay. but how you actually install the packages basically you just can't do okay. pseudo pip and pseudo python which unfortunately we've been using uh with a blog i have a feeling every form of package management and apps is going to change on planet earth because from app stores to 
yeah. uh, malicious packages, like that's a threat vector now. Yeah. Um, probably everything's going to be a little different. Something like they really don't want you to sudo install or sudo yeah. Python. And so, and also, you know, as a side effect, not a side effect, as a, a separate effect of the Pi 5, because there's now the Southbridge, um, GPIO 0 needs to be updated, or uh, sorry, our Pi.GPIO library has to be updated. And maybe even GPIO zero. So there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a little bit of like a mushiness as the Pi five and bookworm sort of uh, gets out there and um, affects how we do Python and hardware. But you know, it, again, it's uh, it's all possible. It's just a matter of documentation. Okay, um, good problems to have. Just more people using Python. That's, yeah. That's um, so check out the rest of the newsletter. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a handheld circuit Python computer. There is a neat guide about how not to build custom RP2040 board. That's it's good, also good advice. a lot of fun. Um, Raspberry Pi Pico with circuit Python. Here's a primer. This is from the DuranBot workshop. You can check out some of the reviews and more about the Raspberry Pi 5. We'll be talking about that later this week. And you can see all the projects we also talked about. Um, some of these neat little designs and projects. This is the keyboard. Key, keyboard. This is what was on show and tell. Um, so stop on by, get the newsletter. It is available every single week delivered to your mailbox. It's on adafruitdaily.com. We do not spam you. We don't even have analytics. We're, take, we're, we're in a process of removing a lot of the Google goo on our websites because we don't do anything with your information at all. So why even track it in any way at all? So um, if you want a newsletter that's never going to bother you, that's adafruitdaily.com. It's a completely separate site.